a funny little bump on its head that helps it find food and navigate using echolocation. What is that called? <laughs> Thank you so much for answering my question! Bye-bye! <laughs> Artistic integrity. A novelty soda drinking hat. With this on your head, you won't have to worry about using your arms in relation to drinking your soda ever again. Until you run out of soda, well, then you'd have to use your arms to remove and replace the soda cans on the sides. Actually, if you could do that without using your arms, that'd be pretty impressive. Ooh, I want to see that now. When working in computer graphics, artists sometimes unwrap the sides of a character or object to project additional detail and color onto it using an image called a texture. What is this process called? Science rules. I'm on the roller coaster here at Shovelware Studios Hollywood. As we go uphill, we're building a bunch of potential energy. Oh, it's so high. What type of energy is that converted to as we start to roll down here? Good enough! Shovelware Studios. Hello, me old chums. This question is about the garden gnomes in Super Slime Simulator. How many gnomes are there in the yard stage? <laughs> hey, that works for me. Nonsense non sequiturs. If you went to the moon and took a bite, what flavor of cheese would you taste? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Uh, 
Monumental landmarks. Here on behalf of Smart Technologies, it's Bordy the Talking Smart Board! Kept you waiting, huh? Here's a question from me to you! Check out this sweet pic from my recent on-set film shoot! Can you figure out where in the world I was? Monumental landmarks. <laughs> Hello, hello, pip pip cheerio and such. This here's a question about jolly old England. Beans on toast, the royal family, tall bobby caps, tea time, non rotor cars, science fiction doctors, double decker buses, calling shopping carts trolleys, driving on the left side of the road, and all that. Everyone's heard the famous chime from the big old clock tower in London, right? But what's the real name of Big Ben? <laughs> A one can supply of delicious banana cream soda from Shovelware Foods. Only for the finest of cola connoisseurs, this can is shaken, not stirred. Napkins to clean up spillage, not included. Congratulations! You're the winner of Shovelware's Brain Game! That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same. Ha, I'd like to see that pompous pepper over at Google Games put on half a show as good as this. This episode of Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Dinkman. Top of the line in grilling technology and fine chairs. For fans of vaguely educational content, don't touch that dial. It's time for Shovelware's Brain Game. Introducing the banana with a plan, the dancing banana. Shovelware Studios. It's a six month supply of dancing banana ice cream bars from Shovelware Foods. This delicious fruity frozen treat features two chewy gumball eyes that we absolutely guarantee aren't placed anywhere close to how they are in the picture on the box.
If you want to ride the paper airplane in shrunken school lobby, you need to buy the plane pass. How much does the plane pass cost? Talking about states. <laughs> to be liquid is to be in a state of matter where a substance has no fixed shape and matches the shape of its container, retaining a constant volume. You know, like water in a glass. <laughs> Which of these scientific elements is a liquid at room temperature? Talking about states. <laughs> Which of the 50 U.S. states was the most recent to join the Union? Zoo Pals. Ants. Ants. Ants Man. There's a lot of those guys all across the globe. No picnic is safe. But how many ants are there? Like, total. Science rules. There's a part of the cell known as the powerhouse because it generates energy for the rest of it. What is its name? Sure, whatever.
Nonsense non sequiturs. The category is Greek history. Your question is Wah! Oh, that's just plain wrong. Shovelware Studios. <laughs> B. Signature All Metal Dancing Banana Lunchbox. What time is it? It's peanut butter and jelly sandwich time! Keep your lunch nice and fresh all morning in this convenient container. There are many objects and items to find and absorb in Shovelware's Super Slime Simulator. Which of the following is not found somewhere in the yard area? Monumental landmarks. All these normal questions have me pretty bored. You know who isn't bored but is a bored? Here with our special guest question, it's Bordy the Smart Board! All aboard! It's time for a Bordy question! Look at this photograph! Depicted is a famous landmark! What is its name? Thanks for having me! See you next time! Zoo Pals! It's a clock that's right twice a day! Now you might be saying to yourself, hey, that's just a broken clock, but no, it's actually not! This thought-provoking art piece dares to ask the question, what if you only knew the actual time twice in the same day? Wonder that all you like if you win this prize! Here comes the coolest screen in town! It's Bordy the Smart Board! I better be getting paid extra for this! Here's another question! Bruh, I swear I've seen this animal before! What is the name of it again? That's right! Uh. I'll be in my dressing room if you want an autograph after the show! Bye!
Probably geography. Oh, help! I'm going over Niagara Falls in a barrel! Did you know that Niagara Falls is actually three separate waterfalls? I think I'm going down the largest one! What was the name of it again? Off the mark! <laughs> Monumental landmarks! <laughs> An amphitheater is an open-air venue used for sports, performances, and other entertainment. My band, The Announcers, were looking for a place to play. We're really popular, so we need a really big place to play. In fact, we need the largest amphitheater in the world. What's the name of the largest one? Eyes on the prizes. What is the slogan of Shovelware's Dinosaur Place, Shovelware Studios Dinosaur Theme Theme Park, and Dino Petting Zoo? This very expensive grill from Dinkman. Pull up a chair and host the cookout of the century. You'll be serving up a whole lot of smiles by utilizing the latest in charcoal technology. And maybe the neighbors will finally stop bragging about how great their life is with their fancy SUV and their two dogs and their running hot water. Look, I'm sorry, Doug, okay? I can't move my car out of the way to let the street sweeper down our block. The battery is dead, and I make game show announcer money, which isn't a lot, so it's going to stay that way, okay? You're this episode's grand champion! That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same. Ha, I'd like to see that office pepper over Google Games put on half a show as good as this. This episode of Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Smart Technologies. Like, actually, we can't believe it either, but we're pretty hyped about it.